Without a doubt, the most dangerous forms of radiation are HCE ions. And these forms of radiation are the kinds that astronauts can experience in space. What makes these so dangerous is that they're incredibly fast moving and they also have a lot of mass, so they carry a lot of momentum. But why do they have so much mass? Well, to start with, this form of radiation is not a photon. It's actually the nuclei of atoms. It includes the nuclei of atoms such as helium, carbon, oxygen, magnesium, silicon, iron, and even as high up as uranium. High energy photons knock electrons away from neutral atoms and ionize them, leaving only the nuclei remaining. These nuclei are then charged and they're accelerated by magnetic fields and thrown towards Earth. What level of radiation exposure can an astronaut expect to experience while in space? During a six month mission, an astronaut can expect to receive anywhere from 50 to 2000 millisieverts of radiation exposure. For comparison, the biological damage to the human body has been documented starting at around 100 millisieverts. So you can see where the upper range of 2000 millisieverts of radiation exposure is a bit of a concern. A particular risk is when astronauts go on these types of spacewalks pictured here, where they're actually openly exposed to the atmospheric radiation from cosmic rays bouncing off of Earth's atmosphere and also directly from the solar wind from the sun. Luckily, NASA has been conducting research to make spacesuits much safer for future missions. Investigations are currently being made to make more protective materials for future missions. Get ready because tomorrow we're returning to the moon. That's right, Artemis 1 is launching tomorrow and it's the first mission in our return trip to the moon. Now, this is a test run. So essentially what's going to happen is a rocket is gonna blast off into space and it's going to journey to the moon. It's not actually going to land on the moon. It's going to enter a retrograde orbit and at some point in this trip, it's gonna actually release satellites and these satellites are gonna assist in future missions. So it's very important and it's an early step in what will eventually lead to us setting foot on the moon again in future missions. Now, a fascinating aspect of this is the Lagrange points. The Lagrange points are mathematical solutions to the three body problem. And it's a point of gravitational equilibrium between the earth and the moon. That's the region where this retrograde orbit of the ship is gonna be taking place.